Blessed be God, we want to welcome you to this inspiring segment of the Rhapsody of Realities by Pastor Chris Oyakilome. If you have been facing persecutions from your workplace, your nation, or even your family, this message will greatly encourage you. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58 Where our theme scripture is read says, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Hallelujah! In Daniel chapter 6 verse 7, the Bible shows us the caliber of people that rose up against innocent Daniel. All the presidents of the kingdom, the governors, princes, counsellors and captains, they conspired to enact a decree to incriminate Daniel in his devotion to God. Daniel being among the administrators must have known about the monstrous conspiracy and might have been praying, O oh Lord, don't let the king sign the decree. Don't let their plans come to fruition. But the Bible says King Darius signed the writing and the decree. And you can read this in Daniel chapter 6 verse 9. Here is something remarkable. When Daniel heard the decree had been published, the Bible says he went home into a room upstairs where he could be seen. And just as he had always done, he knelt at the open windows and prayed to God three times a day. And you can read this account in Daniel chapter 6 verse 10 in the Good News Bible translation. How inspiring! He wasn't going to hide his devotion to the Lord or waver on his faithfulness and commitment to prayer. Consequently, he was arrested and thrown into the lion's den. How could God have abandoned Daniel despite his prayers and unflinching faithfulness? Someone might ask. No, the Lord never leaves or forsakes us, no matter the circumstance. Glory to God. Daniel was miraculously delivered from the mouth of the lion. Read Daniel chapter 10. With Daniel's experience, God was planning an eternal testimony. Praise God. Think about it. Hundreds of years have come and gone and we are still being inspired by Daniel's faithfulness to God and his mighty deliverance from the lion's den. So it doesn't matter the challenges against your faith, be prepared to win. Maybe in your city or country, there are draconian laws against the church. Don't be moved. Don't allow fear to come to your mind. Be bold. Be resolute. Be tough for the gospel. Nothing, no one, groups, governments or institutions can stand against the church and win. History proves it. Our Lord Jesus revealed how futile such endeavours are when he said concerning his church, and whosoever shall fall on this stone shall be broken, but on whomsoever it shall fall, it will grind him to powder. And you can read this reference in Matthew chapter 21 verse 44. The adversities you face are for an eternal testimony. Therefore, serve the Lord joyfully without fear and inhibitions. Anyone who stands in your way will be pulverized. That is what Jesus said and his words never fail. Glory be to God! Knowing this, your life as you know it will never be the same. Whatever comes your way came to be conquered, came to pass. Hallelujah! This is the life of a Christian. This should be your life every day. Wherever you are right now, let us boldly declare this confession together as you repeat this after me. My confidence is in the Lord Jesus and His eternal Word. And He is greater than all. He rules and reigns over the universe. The whole world belongs to Him. And He is the eternal King of glory. To Him be all glory honor and adoration forever in heaven and in the earth amen hallelujah here in our further study section pastor chris has blessed us with scriptures for you to note down from first corinthians chapter 15 verses 57 to 58 first john chapter 4 verse 4 2 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 14 and Revelation chapter 2 verse 26. Blessed be his name forevermore. 
Indeed, our God deserves all honour and adoration. He has filled our hearts with joy and given us a life of thanksgiving. Share this podcast on all your social media platforms today and let others know how this has blessed you. You are the light in a dark world and there are those seeking to know why your life is always moving upward and forward and today you can tell them why. Let us know in the comments down below how the Rhapsody of Realities has impacted your life and encourage us with your testimonies. Praise God! Follow this channel by subscribing because you don't want to miss out on anything that the Word of God has planned for you to listen. Hallelujah! We trust you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying thus. O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Hallelujah! Congratulations! You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tni.msia at gmail.com That's tni.msia at gmail.com We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.